Okay, so for lesson four, we're talking about momentum and collisions. And you were given a sample problem where one of your initial objects was at rest. So let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's pretend that both objects are moving. And let's pretend that, you know, just for fun, you and your brother or your sister, well, you're having a food fight, okay? And you throw your massive meatball. It has a mass of four kilograms. And you throw that puppy at your sibling uh, with a speed, we'll call yours number one, uh, of six meters per second. Well, your sibling has a slightly smaller meatball. That's unfortunate for them. And it has a mass, we'll call them number two, of two kilograms and they've thrown it with a speed of four meters per second. Well, we just want to know what's going to happen after they collide. They don't actually hit either you or your sibling. They actually hit each other. Um, one important thing that you have to know about your meatballs is because yours is going to the right and your siblings is going to the left, um, one of them has to be negative because remember velocity is a vector. So um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the page here and then we can see what's going to happen. So you use conservation of momentum in this case. Your meatball initially M1 V1 initially plus M2 V2 initially is going to equal the final system. And in this case, like I said, those meatballs, they're going to collide and stick together. So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers. You were given your four kilogram meatball and you threw it at six meters per second at your sibling and your sibling with the smaller meatball of two kilograms threw theirs at you so we're gonna make that a negative for the direction but neither one of those meatballs made it to either sibling. They accidentally smacked into each other and stuck together. So M1 plus M2, your four kilogram ball of meat plus their two kilogram means a total of six kilograms, but we don't know which way it's moving. That is the question and how fast. Okay. so. 4 times 6 is going to give us 24 kilogram meters per second plus a 2 times a negative 4 is a negative 8 kilograms meters per second equals 6 kilograms times some sort of velocity. We're not sure what that is yet. So 24 minus 8 is 16. So I'm going to have here 16 kilogram meters per second equals six kilograms times some velocity. Divide both sides. I want to get that velocity by itself. I want to know how fast is it going to hit my brother or sister. So you see here, kilograms cross cancel kilograms. And what we are left with on both sides, excuse me, I apologize. And what we are left with is a final velocity. I'll squeeze it in over here of 2.7 meters per second. And that's going away from us because it shares the same sign as our original velocity of 6 meters per second. So there is a good chance that that bigger meatball could hit your sibling and you could win the food fight.